The figure was tall and gaunt, and in the costume and bearing of the stranger, neither wit nor propriety existed. There are chords in the hearts of the most reckless, which cannot be touched without emotion. Even with the utterly lost, to whom life and death are equally jests, there are matters of which no jest can be made. I must have died and gone to heaven. Except I don't think people in heaven have raging hangovers. I must be on the moon, child. I have to admit, it is incredible. I could get used to living in a place like this. I've never seen anything so beautiful. What's that sound? Something's coming this way. Wake up, Mr. Murphy. We'll have no sleeping through the greatest event in the history of the world. I'm so glad you could join us on this sacred day. Maybe you don't recognize me. It has been some time. Lowell Percival, at your service. You did a job for me on Mars a few years back. Cleverness, tenacity, both then and now have shown me that you belong here. In fact, I need to thank you for securing the statuette for us. The flawless crystal and the symbolic purity of the dove are the foundation of our beliefs. Our sacred text has said that our destiny would be secure only if we had the statuette in our possession. We are deeply in your debt. In an hour or so, we will fulfill an ancient prophecy, specifically, the purification by means of the great alluvian. It is a fabulous name for a somewhat nasty process. Those creative minds at GRS worked extra hard for a long time to make our prophecy a reality. It was quite a challenge to come up with a plan that would match the details of the great alluvian as it is described in our sacred text. Cost me a fortune. Now everything's prepared. At midnight, I will become the savior of our dying world. The earth has become a rotting shell, inhabited by a mongrel breed of half-humans that infest the pure races with their filthy, mutated genes. Is that to be the fate of mankind? The Earth must be thoroughly cleansed for mankind to be saved. Soon, we'll release the seeds of purification, the great alluvian, the baptism of fire, which follows will destroy all life on Earth. But from the ashes will arise a glorious new age. In keeping with the sacred prophecies, we'll wait 40 years here on the moon child. Then our genetically pure children will return to a world that, like them, is clean and unspoiled. Though I may not live to see it, I will die peacefully, knowing that I have given mankind a purified world. I designed this moon child to be the Ark of Humanity but it is also a splendid place to spend the next 40 years. We have it all here, aquariums, aviaries, zoos with animals of all kinds, forests, rivers, mountains, nightclubs, ballparks, everything you could ever want. And the people, only the creme de la creme, architects, bankers, doctors, artists, musicians, and the former president. And as for the women, huh, all beautiful, intelligent, accomplished. One thousand men, women, and children, all bound together by belief and purpose, a desire to create a world free of imperfections, a society of harmony, peace, without fear, without crime. Share in our dream, Mr. Murphy. You have less than an hour to decide. I can't allow you to attend the big purification party, but I'll be down to see you right after. I'm sure you'll agree that your options are limited. 
So, Lowell Percival is behind all this. His offer is tempting. It sounds like paradise. And there's probably no way to stop the cult now, so maybe I should just make the best of it. Hold on, Murphy. Don't forget what they've got in mind. They intend to wipe out every person that doesn't have to meet their standards. I wouldn't last very long in a club like this. I could never be part of their brotherhood. I've got to find a way to stop them, but I'm gonna need some help. If Ava Shanzi is still alive and I can find her, the two of us might be able to figure something out. Maybe it's too late, but I've got to do something. I looked through the pockets of my overcoat, but they've taken everything. All I've got left is the watch I found at the Countess Mansion. Could be a lot worse, though. At least they didn't find the winter chip. Looks like someone didn't get around to picking up this pile of leaves. Groundskeepers must belong to a union. This must be the way out, and I can hear someone pacing from the other side. Probably the security guard. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's a Puff Buster smoke detector. Back on Earth, this thing wouldn't last ten minutes without getting spray painted. This door looks too accessible to be an exit. Huh, a bottle of lighting fluid. These cult members must like to barbecue. Hey, I think I see my office from up here. A rake. Too bad someone already gathered up all the leaves in here. walls are constructed of bonded titanium. Not even a blowtorch would cut through it. The walls are constructed This arboretum is like the Garden of Eden. The trees and plants are all real and full bloom. There's no place like this on Earth anymore. This is a rugged John Stag harvester rake. It's very solid and heavy. High-octane lighter fluid in the point-and-squirt container. Very convenient. This rock looks like it may actually be a piece of flint.
Hmm. This piece of rock looks like it's come loose from the mortar. What an idiot. Oh. So, this is the door to the observatory. Sounds like a place worth looking into. Sounds like the purification party is going on somewhere behind this door. Ah, the door to the stasis room. Maybe I'll find Sleeping Beauty in there. As I enter the stasis room, I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. I'm no Prince Charming, but there's a sleeping beauty lying peacefully in a cryonic chamber. It's Ava Shanzi. Boy, do I need to talk to her. As I look around, I spot a console nearby. Looking it over, I figure it must be used to control the cryonic sleep state. If I can resuscitate Ava, maybe we can still stop the cult. I've seen consoles like this before. The four buttons along the top must administer injections. The two slider controls look like they regulate the air temperature and oxygen level inside the cryonic tube. I seem to remember that slider mechanisms like these are really sensitive and need to be moved slowly. Well, first things first. I'll need to turn this thing on. Aha! A red light went off in one of those phase one boxes. I must have done something right. Now I've got to get those other boxes to light up. So, is it all over? Are your prophecies taken care of? Look, prophecies aren't in my job description, okay? I'm just a humble PI trying to save the world as we know it. 
Well, if you're not in the cult, then what are you doing here? Look, I think we're running out of time here, but my name's Tex Murphy. I know you're Ava Shanzi because I followed your trail from the Colonel to GRS to up here. So why don't you tell me how you ended up getting freeze-dried? Percival has a thing for me, so he decided not to have me killed. Instead, he put me into stasis to keep me out of the way until after the purification. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is the purification won't start for about 45 minutes. The bad news is we've only got 45 minutes to stop these people. Luckily, I've got the winter chip, but you need to tell me how to use it. Well, how did you get it? Listen, there's no time for explanations now. We have to hurry. Take this. There are instructions on what to do with the winter chip. When you get into position, wait for my signal. In exactly 30 minutes, I'm going to create a power surge. That will give us our last chance to stop the cult. That note also has instructions on how to reach the escape pods. I'll wait until the last second, but hurry. And listen, Murphy, good luck. If we get out of here, you can tell me your story. This door looks like it probably opens from the other side. Those asteroids look like they're following the moon child around like big stone puppies. This panel door is locked. Lynx 986. Uh, looks like some sort of croquet software. Aha! This must be the mini computer. Looks like this computer was made specifically to run with a winter chip. What a great tree. If I get off this godforsaken pleasure satellite, I'm taking it with me. It'd look great in my office. This floor panel looks like it's removable. I'll need something to pry it up with. Looks like someone laid a piece of pipe here.
Looks like one of these computer cables ought to do the trick. Hmm, a cocktail glass with a ceramic flex straw. The cocktail glass is worthless, but I love flex straws. This looks like an old-fashioned telephone jack. No, it's a recess button. I'll need something to reach in. Aha! This panel should give me access to the Moonchild's main computer. Hold on, everybody, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. It's been almost 30 minutes. If they didn't find Ava, she should be creating a power surge any second. That'll give me time to patch the mini-computer into the Moonchild main computer. Now I've got to get to the engineering corridors. And fast. System warning on level 18, section J. I'm attempting to override that. Uh, now I'm showing a temporary system failure. Climate control is down on levels 4 through 18. Winter, Winter sequence engaged. I don't understand it. The whole system's going haywire. He had come like a thief in the night, and one by one dropped the revelers, and died each in the despairing posture of his fall. And darkness, and decay, and death held illimitable dominion over all. <laughs> 